what's going on it's the lemon game back here for the channel spotlight and review series and we're on episode number eight today with mr joel diaz and the diamond minecart xm minecraft i'm miners the diamond miners mine some diamonds so we're back here for the next channel spotlight and review series and as always we dig in with the channel logo and the channel background or the channel uh, which we call it which you call this thing up here all right so looking at the channel logo the only thing I don't like about this channel logo, I mean it shows that you're a, a minecraft person or group but it really does need your name on it the, and if you don't think about it, the name does make a huge difference when people are searching through your channel or are searching through channels on the search engine speaker so when people are looking through the channels in the search engine they're gonna look at your logo first the first thing they're gonna look at and the ones that catch your eye are the ones with your name in it or else you're just gonna have an iron golem sitting there it's not gonna be as catchy as someone else with some nice colored name so that's one thing to take into consideration now looking at your background here it says what your channel is and it shows who is in the channel which is really good it's also conflicting colors so it like kind of manipulates it and kind of like drags people in like ooh, the colors change from green to white to pink to blue to white to yellow so it's really contrasting which attracts interest but I would change the background to something more Minecraft related if that's what you do or Halo or Xbox or something like that in order to grab attention and show the people like hey this is what my channel is and give it a standing impression because that's the first thing people will see. So, moving on from that, we can check out your links. We have the Twitter link, so if you want to go check out the Diamond Miners XM on Twitter, Joel Diaz365, be right here. Also, you can check out their Google Plus page, their Instagram page. They also have a link here for an application to fill out for their own channel spotlight interview series. So, you can fill out one for here as well. And also, you can check out their website. So now, looking at the home page, and first thing I like to start off with, it's always good to have an intro to your channel on your home page because that's the first video people are going to see when they come on your channel. So, it, and it automatically will play if you have it set up. So they get to see like a quick glimpse. And make sure it's only like two minutes long at most, so people aren't drug out by it. But it's like a quick like to, like a intro. It's like an intro video, but your channel so you can show this is what we do this is music and content just like random clips like mine I just do random clips for my videos and also it allows you to add a channel description on there like right next to the video you could have a channel description so it tells you so it tells other people when they come on your channel this is what we do this is our links and all about blah, blah blah so that's why it's important to have a, an intro on your channel homepage also you got the uploads, create playlists and stuff here, which is good. Also you have the related YouTube channels over here. So now let's move on to your videos. One thing that catches my eye right off the bat, and this is for every person who looks at these videos, will it'll catch their eye right off the bat. There's no channel thumbnail or video thumbnails. And video thumbnails are important because like I just said, it's the first thing people are gonna see. They're gonna see your video picture before they see the text. So I could be looking at this like, what the heck is that? And then it's like, oh, Minecraft Hunger Games. So that has looks like nothing like it. So that's why you create, like, if you have a series going on especially, like this, you could do your episode number and keep it on a consistent background or change the background in any case. But it's always good. Now, vlogs are a different one. Vlogs aren't as important. Like, I don't do uh, thumbnails. For my vlogs, but for most of my videos, normal, my normal gaming videos, I will. So keep that in mind. But everything else here looks pretty okay. The titles are good length. You don't want to have lengthy titles. Um, so yeah. So let's go check out the latest video here. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Hey guys, 
guys, it's Joel JD Lynch three, and today I'm gonna um do a. Hey. The intro to the video is kind of quick, so I'd slow it down a little bit and let people actually read it because I couldn't even read it in that two seconds that it was up. And also, another thing I want to address is your voice is clear and good, but the camcorder you use to record this isn't really high quality. That's why you need like screen recorders. And Xboxes do have video capture cards. You can buy video capture cards and then it can record the video to the card and then you can upload it via Xbox, via PC. So, yeah. Hey guys, it's Joel JD Lynch 3, and today I'm gonna. Over. Ah! is coming after me! Run! I'm right here. Wow, this this potion. Ah! Oh no, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm. All right. Oh. And uh, what are your Sorry. Talking to it's you? very cool. I it's like really all the colors. I... <laughs> Bye. And once again, it could be a little bit better of a background or a outro image. So it just is by and it goes really quick too. So those are a few things to look at when you're making your what editing your videos. And moving on to the playlists, it's good that you have a few playlists here, but it's good to also have like uh, vlogs you can put in here, right in here, and then add more playlists so everything has a place. So you don't leave any video out because more people are going to go look at your playlists and say, oh, well here's a whole series, let's watch this, instead of having to read through your videos and think, oh there's one, ten videos later there's another one, five videos later there's another one. So it's easier for people to find, so that's important. Um, you do need feature channels, and sometimes people think that it's not important to feature channels. However, it really is. So there's two real main things you want to do when featuring channels. The first thing you want to do is have a friends list. So what you want all the friends that you have on YouTube and all the people that you're associated with, you want to add them to your channel. So people can say, oh. Well, here's the people he's friends with. Let's go check them out too. So you gain publicity to yourself, as well as gain it to your friends. So you all grow as a group, and that's the freedom power. So that's the first thing. And the second thing you want to do is add in some famous YouTubers in there that what you take your content off of. Because what I do, like I have ASF Jerome, Dude Bulger Fist, Vintage Beef in my my listing because those are the people I really base my content off of. I want it to be funny, I want it but I want it to also be serious and to the point. Like Jerome, his content is more funny and more entertaining. But when you go to Good, his content is more it's still funny, but it's more down to earth seriousness. You can't just that's why if you ever think I remember back I don't even know what video it was in Minecraft, but Good said that he doesn't want kids to be part of Minecraft. And I understood what he meant because there's so many kids out there doing Minecraft like the age of 12, 11, 10, that all they're going to do is get on there and they're just going to destroy everything and not do anything and be stupid. You have to have people who are serious about it. So those are the kind of people you want to put down here so people can see what your content's going to be like. Nothing really bad. Discussion. Then the about page that is short, sweet, and to the point. Uh, Jonathan. Okay, so that is that's a good short background. Then you have some of your links down here, which are nice and easy to read. And you also have an email address for people to contact you. So everything back here is pretty good. And yeah. So with that to be announced, we go back to the homepage. And like I've done for everybody so far, I hit that subscribe button, and you can come out and subscribe as well. So. Thank you all for watching this channel spotlight interview series episode number eight with the Mi the Diamond Miners XM Minecraft. If you enjoyed, please remember to leave a like on this video and go check out the Diamond Miners XM Minecraft. The link will be down in the description below. If you have any advice or comments to me making these videos, please leave them down in the description below and add the plus to go and making an MC in there. And if you have any advice for the Diamond Miners XM Minecraft, go comment down below with the plus Diamond Miners XM Minecraft. So that's all I got for you guys today. However, there's one 
quick thing I did want to say before I leave you guys today because Christmas is coming up on my Spreadshirt page all you Lemming EMC fans on my Spreadshirt page I will be draw I did drop the prices once again for the time being up until Christmas so what I basically did was my the here's how Spreadshirt works if you weren't concerned if you don't have your own Spreadshirt you take your own logos and your own pictures and you put them on t-shirts and souvenirs and jackets and all kinds of things and they set a standard price for those t-shirts and stuff which sometimes their t-shirts can be up to twenty dollars they charge and then I can customize it with my stuff and my logos that are made for me or made by me and then I can charge prices on those logos so say if I have my picture of my DLK or my channel logo picture I can put that on a shirt and then I can well first thing I would do is I would set a price so it'll go into the archives of the so everybody in the world can use it on spreadsheets on shirts and I can set a price a commission price so since it's mine I could say oh I want ten dollars for every time someone uses this so every time a shirt sells with my logo on it I get ten dollars profit so it's gonna raise the price of the shirt but what I did for this event is I add I maybe I don't know if I I think I made some new items you can go check those out too but there's plenty of Christmas gifts in there and what I did was I lowered my commission so I can't change I think there is some deals going on with Spreadshirt you can check them out they have some free sh they have some free shipping and my and 20 percent off codes on their shirts and stuff but what I did was I took 50 percent off of my commission so say I had a five dollar commission on this one shirt now two dollars and fifty cents so I'm making less money but it's giving you guys a cheaper price and allowing you guys to buy it and that's the main thing I also want to see people wearing my stuff and I'm dropping down the price so go check out my Spreadshirt page it'll be in my about area and up until December 25th this is when those sales will be going on and then after December 25th they'll be 25 percent off until New Year's and after New Year's they'll be back up to the hundred percent commission so that's all I got for you guys today, so thank you all for watching, hope you all enjoyed this channel spotlight and review series episode, and I will see you guys later.